Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amir. So in this video, we are going to discuss 10 questions which I posted on March 16, 2019 in our Facebook group. If you are not in the Facebook group, I would suggest please join the group. Link of the group is given in the description of the video. And if you have not solved the question before, if you have not solved the question before, I would say, पॉज द वीडियो ऑन ईच क्वेश्चन आप हर एक क्वेश्चन पे वीडियो पॉज करो और क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करो सो वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सम ऑफ टू नेचुरल नंबर्स मीन्स पॉजिटिव नंबर्स इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ईच नंबर सेपरेटली सो वी हैव से द नंबर इज एक्स एंड वाई सो समीशन इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फर्स्ट एक्स देन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वाई देन वी हैव द प्रोडक्ट इज नथिंग बट एट and we have 5104 so we need to solve the equation and we need to find the smallest number so add both the equation we can say x plus y would be taken common again yaha x plus y bachega and this value is nothing but we have 6 5 4 30 so we can say x plus y whole square is equal to 1 3 4 5 6 so x plus y is nothing but this one is 56 so 16 116 so we have 116 so to find the smallest number we need to work on the smallest product so i am putting x plus y is nothing but 116 so the required the smallest number is 5104 divided by 116 and the answer is 44 so the answer of this question is 44 i hope it is clear now we are going for question number 2 Question number two is a question of HCF and LCM. It is given product of six different positive numbers is equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. Say the numbers are nothing but number one and A2 and A3 and A4 up to A6 is equal to product of the HCF and LCM of these numbers. So you must remember the product of two numbers is equal to HCF and LCM always true but this holds only when the HCF is equal to 1 so whenever you have the product of numbers is equal to product of HCF and LCM and numbers are more than 2 you must remember HCF is 1 this one is the concept else you will not get the numbers or the LCMs okay so this is the question number 2 answer is 1 so this one is our question number 3 in which given one man and two women and three children can do job in 60 days now we have three men and five women and six children can do job in 20 days we need to find for the four men six women and six children in how many days okay so can we make equation or not it is easily visible if say this one is equation one or the work two if we subtract work 1 minus work 2, we will get nothing but 2 men plus 3 women or 3 women and 3 child will do work in 60 into 20 upon 60 minus 20 since we are subtracting. So this one is 60 into 20 upon 40. So 2 is 30. So this combination would take 30 days. We have to do double since we doubled. So the work done is going to be half. So the answer of this question is nothing but 15. So 15 is the answer of this question. Now let's solve. Question number 5 is quite easy. We say this one is 1 plus 1 by 3. We can say this one is nothing but plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 9. Plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 27. Plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 81. 2 infinite. Make a group of first and the second number. So we have 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 up to infinite. And the second group with the plus sign is nothing but 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 27 plus 1 by 81 up to infinite. This one is infinite GP. A upon 1 minus R would give 2. This one is infinite GP with the first term 1 by 3 and common ratio is again 1 by 3 is nothing but 1 by 2 so it's 2 plus 1 by 2 answer is nothing but 2.5 or 5 by 2 so answer of this question is 5 by 2 
So this question is all about parcel difference and need to obtain the values in the GP. Now solve the question number six. Question number six is a time and work with the factorization problem. A team of workers had to manufacture 720 parts, three parts more than if planned okay so we have 720 parts per day say the p parts and we take the d days one day we plant three parts more one day we plant three parts more and completed a job in a day one before but our work done is nothing but this we have two values of the two variables means two variable two equation we need to solve the value okay so we have to divide and get the values or we can say put the values get the answer make a quadratic equation by any means hum kuch bhi kar sakte hain we know days are decreasing days are decreasing so how can we say that days are decreasing by one i know the one thing is it's 9 into 80 and 8 into 90 and 10 into 72 so we can say the gap is only the one but yahan pe change kafi jyada hai my all closure jacket that is the factorization we can get the value but factorization is not an easy process so i would suggest use the options if you can put the values get the answer or if you do the factorization factorization karo up so i know this one is nothing but 15 into 48 and 16 into 45 so this factorization helps me if i know how to factorize i can solve the questions or I say use the options all the quadratic equation and get the answer. So the answer of this question is in how many days one days ahead of the time. So I am one days ahead of the time. So the answer of this question is 15. Now move to the question number 7. Question number 7 is a classical question of componendo and dividendo. So in general what we do we rewrite the equation a plus 2b plus a minus 2b upon root a plus 2b minus root a minus 2b and we say this one is x plus 1 from here we find x plus 1 and x minus 1 so 2 2 cancel out so we can say if we cross multiply we are getting nothing but bx square minus ax plus b equal to 0 this one is option number c so this one is a component and dividend but if you want to check some other method, you can say the values putting. Now the next method is values putting. But if you know the concept of the values putting, you know the trick what to put, then you can solve this question very easily. So I take a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1. So I'll get x is nothing but 1. Check. You have 2 plus 2, 4 means 2 plus 0 upon 2 minus 0. So I got the value quite easily. This was a trick how to get the values. Now put these values in the quotient. So if we have all terms are the plus, cannot be 0. Here we have ax square. ax square is nothing but 2. Minus bx is nothing but minus 1. Plus 1 is not 0. We have bx square 1 minus 2 plus 1 is 0. So this one is perfectly fine. So with the help of values putting, but if you know the trick how to get the values, that would be easier. Or you can take any value and solve the question. The answer of question number 7 is option number C. 9. How many even numbers in the range of 100 to 300 is neither divisible by 3 nor by 5? It means it has a closed bracket. Closed bracket means 100 to 300 inclusive. Fine. So the best method of solving these question is making set theory or the Venn diagram. What we need? We need divisibility by 2 but not 3 but not 5. So we can say this portion is nothing but the divisibility of 6, 2 and 3 ka LCM. This portion is nothing but divisibility by 10. And this portion is nothing but divisibility by 30. So 6, 2 and 3 ka multiple, 10, 2 and 5 ka multiple, and 30 is 2, 3, 5 ka multiple. So we need to find all the data we are not worrying about these values okay so first of all how many numbers between the 100 and 300 inclusive divisible by 2 so in this we say 300 divided by 2 100 divided by 2 minus and plus 1 is nothing but 101 why plus 1 because lower value is divisible so we have total 101 data so for 6 
it's nothing but 300 divided by 6 minus 100 divided by 6 with the integral values I am talking about. So we have nothing but 50 minus 16 is nothing but 34. So we have 34 such values in between the range divisible by 6. We need to check for the 10. 300 divided by 10 integral values minus 100 divided by 10 integral values plus 1 because this one is divisible. So we have 30 minus 10 plus 11 21. So we have 21 such numbers. Now we need to check for the 30. We have 300 divided by 30 minus 100 divided by 30 and no plus because it would not divisible. So 10 minus 3 is means 7. So we have 7 such numbers in this bracket divisible by 30. Total is 34. So we can say this one is 27. Total is 21. So we can say this one is 40. So we have 40. 7 27 total is nothing but 48 so this range is 101 minus 48 is nothing but 53 so the answer of this question is nothing but 53 i hope it is clear now solve the question number 10 last question so our last question is of the trigonometry or geometry we have side ratio is 4 is to 5 is to 6 and we want a corresponding trigonometrical ratio of the smallest side. Either we can use sine ratio with the area or the best is use the cos ratio. So the cos formula is nothing but 5 square plus 6 square minus 4 square upon 2 into 5 into 6. When we solve this, we'll get nothing but 3 by 4. I know this one is the value. So we need to find the sine. Sine is what? P by H we have b by h so with the these s and this b we can find nothing but root 7 by 4 this one is the final value of sine fine i hope it is clear so this one is the 10 expected question all the concepts for all upcoming examination the aim of this video to let you know or to engage you in the study agar aap study karte rahoge with the help of competition because group mein competition bahut acha dikhta hai लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया हुआ है अपना बेस्ट दीजिए अपने एग्जामिनेशन के लिए तो प्लीज क्रैक योर एग्जामिनेशन गेट योर गोल सो ऑल द बेस्ट अगर डाउट हो तो आप वीडियो डिवाइड करो या कमेंट में पोस्ट करो आई विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व योर डाउट्स एज सुन एज पॉसिबल आई होप इट इज ओके गॉड ब्लेस यू हैप्पी लर्निंग एंड बाय बाय